Novak Djokovic didn't celebrate his quarterfinal win at the Monte Carlo Masters. Novak Djokovic named Daniil Medvedev as he explained why he didn't feel like celebrating his latest victory at the Monte Carlo Masters. The world number one is back in the semifinal for the first time in nine years. But he wasn't in the mood to mark the occasion after he defeated Alex de Menor on Friday. Djokovic is enjoying his best run in Monte Carlo since 2015, when he lifted the trophy for the second time. The 36-year-old reached the last four when he beat de Menor 7-5-6-4, also breaking records as the oldest semifinalist at the tournament and becoming the man with the most Masters semifinal appearances at 77. Despite earning multiple achievements, Djokovic kept his celebrations low-key, taking his cap off and walking to the net to shake hands with his opponent once the match ended. He then gave the crowd a quick wave and thumbs up. The Serb later explained why he didn't want to commemorate his victory and joked that he was copying Medvedev, who is known for his non-celebrations. Yeah, it was just a sign of relief. I think, Djokovic said when asked why he looked concerned after beating de Menor. It was more just that it was finished, you know, rather than to celebrate. I didn't really feel like celebrating too much. Sometimes I do the Medvedev celebration like today, and sometimes I do actually celebrate. Smiling, Djokovic explained that his comment about Medvedev was a good thing. He added, by the way, that's a compliment. I think it's really interesting. I think it's very funny. He's very authentic. Today I went Medvedev style. It's no surprise that Djokovic didn't want to celebrate the match as both he and de Menor agreed that the second set got ugly, especially when there were six breaks of serve in a row. The Australian made the remark when they shook hands at the net, making Djokovic laugh. The world number one later said, I agree with him. I think in particularly the second set, you know, a lot of unforced errors and just dropped service games back to back to back. Many breaks of serve, which obviously on the clay court you can expect more breaks than normal, than comparing to other surfaces. But this was a little bit extraordinary, I think. So yeah, so I don't think we maybe played such beautiful tennis in the second set, let's say. Maybe the last few games, but, you know, most of the second set was quite ugly, as he said.